Delegates to an international conference on peace in Ukraine have adopted a joint communique. The official announcement includes a pledge to address issues such as the safety of nuclear power plants. Russia was not invited to the two-day summit. The conference took place in the Swiss city of Bergenstock. It was held to discuss a peace plan put forward by Ukraine. Representatives from about 100 countries and organizations attended. The meeting ended on Sunday. The communique says the participants have decided to take concrete steps in three areas, including nuclear power plant safety and food security. I'm confident that together we will ensure the result, the first and the second. Peace summits should unite our joint work on the details of peace. We are at a war and we don't have time for prolonged work. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky expressed his intention to create an action plan to implement his peace proposal. He also said he wants a second peace summit to be held. Swiss President Viola Amherd stressed the importance of the conference, but she indicated a critical challenge lies ahead. One key question remains, how and when can Russia be included in the process? We have heard it in many of your statements. A lasting solution must involve both parties. The participants from some of the emerging countries, collectively known as the Global South, pointed to the need for Russia's participation. Those nations value their ties to Moscow. Diplomatic sources say about 10 countries did not support the communique. Saudi Arabia and India were reportedly among them. The Kremlin's spokesperson Dmitry Peskov criticized the Ukrainian side. He said the matter is they won't talk about peace.